Want to see how I take my digital notes for school using Samsung Notes? Then keep on watching. Hi, my name is Joelle. I'm a 22 year old student in educational sciences in the Netherlands and welcome to A Life of Learning. On this channel, I hope to help out my fellow students by sharing my educational knowledge and my personal experiences. So make sure to subscribe if that is something you are interested in. So in today's video, I will be showing you how I take notes on my Galaxy Tab SS Lite using Samsung Notes. Because the last video about Samsung Notes that I made on this channel blew up a tiny bit. And underneath that video, someone asked me if I could also show how I actually take my notes in Samsung Notes, which I'm of course really happy to do because I am a huge note-taking nerd. So I already made a video a while ago in which I explained my self-created note-taking technique based on educational science principles. So if you are interested in the exact method I use and the science behind it, definitely make sure to check out that video as well. But in this video, I will be focusing on how I use the app Samsung Notes to create these notes. So if that is something you are interested in, then make sure to keep on watching. So for my organization, I have one folder for each semester. And then one digital notebook per class. And if I need to find something specific in my notebook, I use the search function because the search function can also detect all handwritten text. So I can always easily look for specific words in my notes. So for my notes, I use templates that I made myself. And if you want to use these templates too, then you can buy them in my Etsy shop, which I will link down below. And the reason why I like these templates so much is that they quickly add a pop of color without having to spend any additional time on decorating your notes. So that you can focus all your time and effort on the actual content of your notes, but still have notes that look really cute. So to add them, I just press the dots in the top right corner and then go to page templates and then scroll down to my custom templates. And if you want to add a new template, then you can press the plus button and then select the template that you want to add from your image files. And personally, I use a grid template because I feel it is the perfect combination of having straight lines to write on, but also guidelines for making neat drawings and tables. But if you like another kind of template, I also have dotted, lined, and even hexagonal templates available on my Etsy. Or you can, of course, just use whatever other template you want. So the first thing I do after adding a new page with my desired templates is to set up the pens that I'm going to use. And the pens I use are a big colored fountain pen for the title, a medium regular black pen for the subsection headers, and a small regular black pen for the main text. Then I use a small regular gray pen for additional notes. and a small regular colored pen for annotating examples. And then I also use a big straight highlighter in a matching color. and a small straight highlighter in a matching color. And as you can see, I put all of these pens in my favorites by pressing the star at the top so that they appear in my favorites panel. And then I press and hold to unlock my favorites panel and put it somewhere on the page so that I can easily change pens. So then the first thing I do is draw a straight line with the gray pen to split my page in half. And you can easily do this by holding your pen down a little bit longer after creating your line. And then Samsung Notes will automatically straighten it for you. And I do this because I like working with the two column layouts because it forces you to be short in what you write and it also makes images and drawings fit better. And then I use a calligraphy pen to add my title. But of course you can also just use a big regular pen.
And then I like to duplicate the header and change the original header's color to white. And then put the duplicated header over it to create this cool layered effect. But this is of course just for the aesthetics, you don't have to do that. And then on the right, I like to add the date, the week or class number, and whether the notes are from a reading or a lecture. And I also sometimes add the name of the lecturer or the author, if this is relevant. So then for the actual notes, I use the medium regular black pen for the subsection titles. And I really love using the easy writing pads when writing my notes because it allows me to keep an overview of my notes while also enabling me to write neatly. And then the regular black pen for the main text, which I write in bullet point format. And in the video where I explained my full note-taking method, I also explain my shorthand bullet point system. So make sure to watch that video if you want to check that out. But for the sake of this demonstration, I will just keep it simple and only use regular bullet points. And after writing the main text with this black pen, I use the large highlighter to highlight the most important terms. And then the small highlighter to underline some less important points. And I also like to use the regular pen to underline the key ideas. And again, you can use the tactic of holding your pen down a little bit longer after you have created your line to have something notes automatically straighten it. So when I want to insert an image into my notes, I open my browser in split screen. And then copy the image in my browser and paste it into my notes. Definitely don't try to drag and drop it because then for some reason it also inserts the URL of the image into your notes which is really a hassle to get rid of, so just don't do that. And then if I want to draw a graph or table myself, I turn on the shapes function because it will correct all shapes you draw so it looks very neat. And if you draw them in shapes mode, you will also be able to adjust and resize your shapes very easily. And then whenever an image or graph or formula is really a part of the main material and not just an example or something like that, I use the shape tool and my thin highlighter to draw a border around it to make it stand out. So when I want to add questions to my notes, I add them using the gray pen close to the relevant information. And then I can easily erase the question after I found the answer to it. And I also like to use a differently colored pen to annotate images and examples to make the annotations clearly stand out from the regular text. So one of the things that I love most about taking digital notes is how easy it is to fix your mistakes or update your notes. You can always use the eraser to erase and rewrite something. But you can also use the selection tool to select large pieces of text and delete or move them. So if I ever want to add something to my notes, I will just select the text that is already there and move it to create some extra space so that I can add whatever I need. And yes, sometimes this can be a bit of a hassle if there's no space anymore on the page to move stuff. But in that case, you can just add a new page and then move the text to the new page to create the space that you need. So that is how I make my digital notes using Samsung Notes. I hope that it was helpful and that I introduced you to some functionalities of Samsung Notes that you didn't know about yet. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to like it so that others might find it as well. And let me know in the comments what your favorite way of taking notes is. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me with tips for student life. And I wish you lots of love and a life of learning.